Hi, this is Beauty Goddess Bridget. My name is Bridget, and I am 61 years old, and I love colorful makeup, as you're about to find out. And today we are doing a Bully Mate box opening, and I am live on Facebook, so just be aware that if I'm talking back and forth, that that's what's going on. And I hope since I re-updated my drivers that the thing is going to work right now. That has been a problem. <laughs> it, re it really, ha every time Windows updates my computers, then I have to reload all my drivers apparently because then the webcam starts uh, acting full. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Really? Okay, so here we have the Bully Make box. Yay! Uh, I have to lift it up just a little bit more. Oh, you know what? I don't have my crown on. Let me get my crown first before I open that box. Which crown should I have today? Well, you know what? <clears throat> I know Valentine's Day is over, but um, I'm going to wear this one anyway because I like the red. <laughs> just saying. So, okay. So, here's my Bully Make box. And this one, this is for power chewers like pit bulls, boxers, any of the bully breeds because, uh, yeah, they're, they're El Destructos. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Patricia Young is here. And the February Bully Make Box. Woo, here. And it says on the back, thanks for ordering your, your box. Uh, swap twice anytime. You can take, you can go, and you can personalize what you want. You can either get treats and toys, or you can get all toys. You can't get all treats yet. I put in a request because the dogs love their treats. Um, but anyway, sometimes they'll put cards in here for like, uh, they've got like a cat box, cat lady box too now. And they, they or somebody does. Anyway, so I've got a, um, a sandbox. He's not interested in, in this kind of stuff. So I'm just saying. <sighs> Woohoo. Okay. It's a little late, but here we have XO XO. <laughs> from um, yeah well it looks like there we go it's backwards in my phone so that is a toy let me tell you what these toys these nylon or vinyl toys or whatever they're made of they are nearly indestructible uh, they've been working on a couple of them for months and still have not destroyed not one now the balls uh, yeah those didn't last very long <laughs> <clears throat> one day of really solid chewing and they started coming apart um, but these yeah they like these so how are you doing girl and here's the other one it's a heart with a little treat thingies on it and of course it has bully make on the back with a little arrow on it super super cute I absolutely adore these toys and I can't wait for them to start on these although this one kind of looks almost like a We've got one in there that, <laughs> which I'm JC's and he thinks it's like a pile of cat vomit or something. Oh, this one, I wonder what he's going to think it is. <laughs> because it, it's the same color brown as the other one. <clears throat> and here we have duck tenders. Let me tell you, they love the duck treats and the beef treats the most. Those are their favorites. They eat them all. Pup cakes. I'm wondering what these are going to be made of. But uh, to read on the back, any one of them, guaranteed analysis. Analysis. Crude protein is a minimum of 10%. Crude fat is a minimum of 3. Crude fiber is 3. And moisture is twen max 22%. So they've got stuff in here like potato starch and vegetable glycerin, flour, peanut flour. So if you have allergies, you might, uh, if you have allergies to peanuts, you might not want this. Uh, canola oil, pea protein, pork gelatin, soy, uh, lecithin, I think, citrus acid, citric acid, and so on. But anyway, that's the pup makes, which I'm sure they'll love those. <laughs> and these are Valentine's. That's what it says on the box, Valentine's. And um, it has the same, same minimum and maximum on the things. One treat per 15 pounds per day. I am not giving them four a day. Uh, they both weigh over 60 pounds. I'm not giving them four a day. No. No. This way they last all month <laughs> until the next box arrives. I give them uh, two, sometimes four. 
But anyway, that's what's in this box. And I tell you what, if you've got a pit bull or a power tour type dog, any of them, any of the bully breeds, and then boxers and uh, some of the others are pretty good power tours. Those vinyl, nylon, whatever they are, uh, toys are best ever. Absolutely best ever. <clears throat> Highly recommend the box. And you know what? I didn't get my brushes ah! for my uh, for my uh, look. So let me quickly get those out. I am not using my Natasha Denona tonight. I'm using this white because white tends to uh, make colors pop a little bit better. So, oops. Ah, all the way to four. I ate that. Uh. Anything on my life. Anything. Anything can happen. Usually does. Yeah, just saying. Let's get the chisel out. I've never even used this brush. It's perfectly pristine. We're using it tonight. Yeah, we are. Uh, I'm going to get my crease brush out just in case I decide to go to creasing. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Where's my, where's my little one? The, the one that I use for uh, all things uh, on my eyeballs. Well, all like my little one, the, the, the best little best little brush in the world that doesn't actually have a company name on it. The one I really, really love. Where is it? There it is. This one. Hey, Sherry. Hi, Stacy. Woo woo. Uh, this one. Uh, there's there's no brand on it. It just says wet dry. There's no brand on it. So yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I probably ought to get this one out too, just in case. This round one. I love this brush. I love this brush. Oops. Minor disaster. <laughs> Like we haven't ever seen that before around here. Okay, so this is the palette that I'm going to be using. This one. Isn't that just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors? And um, I'm going to start with, oh, what should I put down for the transition shade? I think I'll go with this, this one down here in the corner. This one called Vortex. It's... Um, I don't know if it's black or dark brown, but it's the darkest one in here. So I'm going to use that. Just saying. Uh, let me let me bring everybody in so they can see me up close and personal. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> so they can see what I'm doing. Because, you know, when you're on your phone, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. And I can't figure out how to zoom this. So Just saying. Okay, so. There's the brown color. Brown, black. Not sure. So let's start with this one. Right in the crease and just a little line. Kind of like cut crease sort of. Only I'm not doing a cut crease. Just saying. Hi Lyric! How are you? Oh, you just missed the bully make box. That's all right. You can always go back and watch it. I'm only five minutes in, maybe ten. So I'm not too far in. Ooh. Well, okay. The first one wasn't very dark at all. This one, very dark. <laughs> all right. So we're going to have to go back and fix the other side. Just saying. Darken it a little bit more. I wasn't planning on going that dark with it, but man. Sometimes life does not ask us what we want to do. And we just kind of have to go with it. Just saying. <laughs> I'm glad you're good. Yay! Woo! All right. So, um, I think I'm going to go into this color right here. It's called Hot Mess. For starters. And then we'll kind of build off, off of that. 
And I am going to use my refer brush, my refer number two on that. Great brushes, kind of expensive, but great brushes nonetheless. So. Probably gonna do what is gonna look sort of like a halo look. It won't be exactly a halo. It'll probably kind of look that way. And the blackest, the darkest color is already starting to lighten up on me because my skin likes to absorb colors. Yay! Not so much, but actually, that may be a dark purple. From the looks of it. I'm not really sure. I'll swatch them all out at the end, all the colors. And I'll do that at the end because um, if I do it now, then it'll be all up in my shirt, all up in my sweater. And I rather like this sweater and I don't want to have to ruin it with makeup colors. It's a kind of sultry, dark look here. So, how many of you went to YouTube today to see my Traveler Series video? which I posted on my wall earlier, but it, uh, it came up today. And uh, on that one, I did a uh, discussion of a book that I read once when I was in college. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll make that part of a, part of a series when I'm doing either the Traveler series or, you know, when I'm just doing some basic uh, uploads to YouTube that maybe I'm not gonna be putting on here and I was just wanting to see what you guys thought of that video, if any of you saw it yet. And if you didn't, I would like input on what you think of that idea. And what I did was there was a book that I read while I was in college called uh, The Monk. And The Monk was not necessarily a very good person. <laughs> he was supposed to be a good person. But... Um, yeah, he got corrupted rather easily. I'm just going to say that. And I did a review on that on my, you know, talked about it a little bit. I did not give away the ending or the details of it. Uh, it's one of those things that, you know, uh, I would rather people go out and actually read it for themselves and, and form their own opinion on it. But I was just wanting to know what everybody what everybody had actually thought about it if they watched that video. What they thought of how I reviewed the 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 process that I used. Does that make sense? I don't know. I do kind of like this color. What do you guys think? Is it your color? It's a pretty color. It really is. So I think I'm going to take this one and go under the eye too. Trying to keep it up so that uh, they can see me on the cam. And you guys can see me here. But I really, I enjoyed doing that, um, that book review. I did enjoy it. And Stephanie, who I did the collab with, she, uh, she said that she'd love to hear more about some of the books that I've read. So, hi, Tressa! How are you? My sister. It's a good color. This is kind of a, the, the one that I just went under, under my eye with. It's kind of a dark, deep maroon color. Hi, Mary! Mary Ellen Colfer has come on. I am live and I'm filming for YouTube as well. So, uh, yeah, say something, say hello. <laughs> that way I don't forget that you're, that you're here. That's why I call, call the names out. But, um, just, you know, if somebody, if you guys think that, uh, book reviews would be pretty cool then let me know go watch the video let me know what you think of my style 
as well as that look. That look was pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Just saying. All right, now then, for the in inside part, I'm going to use this packing brush. This one is um, Bodyography Pro, and it's real. It's a little packing brush, actually. And I'm going to go in with the teal right here, the one up here in the corner. Kind of a minty, almost green, greenish, I don't know, whatever it is. <laughs> Just saying. You guys know how it is with me. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that is nice. That color is beautiful. Oh. What do you guys think of that color? That's pretty. A lot more pigmentation than I've expected from it, but that's alright too. I don't mind I don't mind the extra pigmentation. I don't mind the heavy pigmentation. I I like the I like the bright colors. I'm not very used to uh, pastelish colors like mint, but I I have a fondness for the colors. They just don't usually show up on me very well because oh, and I didn't even use my my white pencil, did I? Well, alrighty then. That would probably make this color really really pop out. I'll try to remember to do that next time. How are we looking so far? Pretty good. Oh, I'm really, really liking that. Now, up here, um, I think I'm going to take this kind of champagne -y color, oops, right here, to kind of go up a little higher. And which brush should we use? Yeah, we'll take this one, this one right here. when they need a little, a little bit of the spray. Let's take a look and see. <clears throat> oh, not that one. I am expecting the Mac Fix Plus to come in with my Ipsy order. So, what this does is it makes makes it hold to the brush a little bit better and then go onto the eye a little bit better. It does two two things when you use these sprays. You can use water and just about anything really, but um, I'm going to say that can you see the difference that it made in application? Just that one quick little spray. It made that pop so much more. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. It's kind of turning a little bit pinky cham pink champagne on me. And it's actually kind of a cream or brownish champagne in the in the little uh, container here. But, well, thank you very much, Patricia. Can you guys see that? Does that color show up? That kind of champagne-y color? It does in the foam, but I don't know if it does appear very well. Don't really know. And now, this one right here. This kind of a dark tealish Kind of matches my sweater a little bit. <clears throat> kind of a glittery, glimmery one. We'll see how this goes on top of some of this. We'll see. That's the that's the good part about makeup experimenting. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can always take it off. You're not forced into wearing something that you don't really like. 
Okay, that's not shimmering very well. <laughs> well, let's see how it looks now. It'd probably be a little bit too much. No. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. You guys like my earrings? These are from uh, Paparazzi. I think I've got another pair somewhere around here. So if anybody wants them, just let me know. I will sell them. I got a whole bunch of Paparazzi. I'll be getting rid of. I'm gonna start doing some sales on uh, on my lives again. I just haven't got there yet. Hi Dina, hi Linda, woo woo! What do you guys think? You liking the look so far? I'm digging it. Okay, and I'm gonna take along with that. I'm gonna put some of that teal. Some of the well minty, minty sage color. It's called haze. On top of this, oh, I like that. That's a good, good color combo. Get into this deep one over here, the vortex. I feel like Maleficent or something. <laughs> My witchy ways. I like it. I do, I do. It always gives me trouble. It's like the skin's a little bit looser on that side than the other side, so it's not quite as well behaved. Not as not as tight anymore. I have to kind of hold it to get it to keep from moving around too much. Do you know you should never really, really pull, right? Just saying. Don't really, really pull your eyes because that'll stretch out that skin and then make them kind of saggy later. We don't want that, do we? No, we don't. Okay, I'm going to go in with my unique black just because it's my favorite of all time. I mean, really, truly. I did put out teal that kind of matches my shirt, but I've already got the teal under my eyes, so I'm going to pass. Just kind of holding it steady because. Y'all know me. I will stab myself in the eye. Just like I sometimes glue my eyes shut and do all kinds of other yeah, fun stuff. I put myself I put myself in the eyes not too long ago with uh, my mascara brush. As a matter of fact, I think that was on the, the one that I posted to YouTube today with the, my collab with Stephanie. Uh, where... <laughs> Yeah, I went to put it on my mascara and I right in my eye. Ah! I cried. It hurt. I didn't really, really cry. I kind of laughed about it, but <clears throat> you know how it is. <laughs> I tried to cry. But then my makeup would run and then it would have really just made a big mess. So I was like holding it in. Because <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> when it's your eye, it really hurts. I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay. Now, my unique magnetic liner lashes. I am still trying. This is still kind of a learning curve here, people. You don't want too much of the, the liner stuff on here, but you want enough that the lashes can stick, but you don't want so much that you end up with it, you know, running down your face like what usually happens with me. 
But I will say this, I do like this product. I'm just struggling to get the learning curve over with the same. But the fact that I can use this mostly like regular liner. The thing that isn't like regular liner is that this brush is so stiff. I think I'm going to email them and say, you know, can you make this a little bit softer? Because the stiffness in it is really killing me. Overall, I am enjoying the product. The lashes look pretty natural. They're not over over the top big. I'm not used to those. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not used to those. And they look, you can tell that they're not real lashes, but they don't look too, too crazy fake. back with the 3D uh, 3D mascara that Unique had. Some people could get their natural lashes to look just about like these do. Oops. Yeah, see? Even us uh, professional types <clears throat> can have little mistakes. And it's all good. I don't worry about little little mess ups. I can cover them. I can, you know, reevaluate them. I can do whatever I need to do with them. Usually, I don't have to do too much, but every now and then, like when I put my foundation on today, it was a little too dark. So <clears throat> I added a little bit of white to it. <laughs> And I actually got it the right color, which was kind of amazing to me. Very surprising. <laughs> I was very happy about that. So these are the lashes. As you can see, they're not too too crazy. And one thing that I absolutely love about these is the little metallic metal metal piece here that they stick to so that they're not sitting in glue. That I really like. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thank you. I hope it's looking good anyway. I might need a mirror <laughs> up close so I can see what I'm doing. The best part about magnetic lashes, if you don't like where they're sitting, you can move them because they're magnetic and they're sticking to the to whatever's in the liner, not the liner or your skin or glue. So you can move them pretty easily if you don't like where they are. And that is the best part about the magnetics. There is a slight learning curve with them, but it's not as bad as the regular lashes. So if you have never worn lashes, these might be a good place to start. What do you guys think? I think they look pretty good. I like them. Alright. Mascara. And this is the mascara that I put myself in the eye with on the other one today. It is from She Glam. There are two different ends on it. You have one end that is the straighter end, and you have one end that is a curvy end. So, uh, depending on what you're wanting to do with your lashes for the day, on the bottom, I'm just using it on the bottom. So, just saying. And then we'll do my lips. So what do you guys think about the idea of reviewing books? 
you guys think that that's a fun or interesting thing? You know, a lot of books have been made into movies. Even The Monk was made into a couple of movies. I haven't seen them, so I don't know how close to the book they are. But the book is a page turner. And I mean, once you get past the, 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 it said it was written during the, you know, gothic times. And so it's kind of dark and dreary. And once you get past the original descriptive uh, part about, you know, the gargoyles on the cathedrals or whatever, once it picks up, it goes and you just don't want to put it down. It's fabulous. It is a fabulous read. Okay. And um, I have a brand new dubious place pencil and this one is in a red it's called Ruby this is the sticker still on here so that I can read it I don't know if you guys can read it here it's kind of bright there we go where it says Ruby I love Judy's place it's so nice they and they have such great sales I mean sometimes 70% off pretty nice for a sale. Just saying. Okay. Okay. It took off with my lid. I mean, really. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. This one is supposed to be kind of red. It's dark red. Very dark. That's okay. I can deal with it because I'm, you know, I'm already kind of girl anyway. That's pretty. That's a nice shade of red, and actually, it doesn't look nearly as dark on as it did uh, as it does on the two. Done. And then, still got some on there. I chose for today's look this one from BH Cosmetics. This one is the one called, uh, I think it's, well, it doesn't matter because they don't sell liquid lipsticks anymore anyway, which is too bad because honestly, they had. They have some of the best formulas for liquid lip colors. And I was so sad when they filed uh, bankruptcy under Chapter 11, which I think is just restructuring to give them time to restructure a little bit. So. There we go. Finished look. What do you guys think? I like it. I do. And that was Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Mercury Retro Gay Retro Gray. Okay, the moon is full, so I'm having trouble speaking. <laughs> Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. And uh, lovely palette, good formula, easy to work with. Um, yeah, a little bit more heavily pigmented on some colors than others. But uh, overall, it blends easy and it works well, I think. So, you guys... Uh, Guys, anybody gonna pick this up? I forget how much how much it is. Let me know in the comments section if you're gonna be picking this up or if you already have it. I know I got mine from uh, I believe it was BoxyCharm. Yes, it was BoxyCharm. I haven't got my Ipsy's yet, so uh, I got mine in BoxyCharm. So if you're gonna be picking this up, let me know, or, or if you already have it, then let me know what you think of it. 
I absolutely, I, I like this formula. I probably will never purchase Huda Beauty um, because it's really outside my price range of comfort zone for purchasing. But uh, hey, when it comes in your box, <laughs> you know, that's a score. <laughs> the box is $25. This palette alone is, I think, priced at $69. So, uh, yeah, that's a win. That's a win. So, anyway, you like the lip? The book that I that I did on my YouTube, the Cartagena, was The Monk by Matthew Lewis, Jackie. That's the one that I did. And if you haven't read it, then you should read it. It's a wonderful read. Wonderful read. And it's got so many twists and turns, and at the end you're like, whoa. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Shut the front door. Now that's not what happened. <laughs> But it was. <laughs> so it, it was really, really a good book. So I, I would encourage anyone who hasn't read it to read it. Um, just saying. Just saying. But anyway, I will bid you all a good night. Thank you for spending time with me. And as always, if you can't be good, be careful. And if you can't make good decisions, carry bail money. You'll probably need it. Mwah. I love you all. <laughs> good night. <laughs>